بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين My dear brothers and sisters in Islam السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته All the praises due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala We praise Him and cherish Him and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive, our, to forgive our sins and to make us from those who listen and follow the best of what they listen to We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide our action and to guide our hearts and to keep us in a straight path My dear brothers and sisters in a few days, we will be receiving a very special guest. A guest that we have waited for an entire year. Yes, you have guessed it. It is the month of Ramadan. We have waited for this month, my dear brothers, an entire year. And this shows how fast the time goes. We remember just yesterday we were bidding farewell to the month of Ramadan. And this means, my brothers, that our time goes and our life is slipping away from our hand. So we have to be ready to meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have to make our best of our time, our minutes and hours, weeks and months and years. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, the month of Ramadan, the month of mercy, the month of Quran, the month of Qiyam, the month of fasting, the month of generosity, the month of forgiveness. We have to strive to get the benefit, the full benefits of the month of Ramadan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told us about the special award in the month of Ramadan. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had made this month a very special month and made it better than, than the, the whole year. So this month is the best month of the entire year. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also says in the Quran, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu kutiba alaykum usiyamu kama kutiba ala ladheena min qablikum la'allakum tattaqoon. O you who believe, Fasting has been prescribed for you as it has been prescribed for the nations before you so that you may attain taqwa. So the purpose and objective, the first objective of the fasting is attaining taqwa. And taqwa is making between you and you free from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protection, which means that you hasten to do good deeds and you stay away from anything that causes the anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And my brothers, about the month of Ramadan, the Prophet ﷺ told us in the hadith, when the Ramadan, when the first night of Ramadan, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will, the, uh, the heaven's door are open and the paradise, the gates of hellfire are shut and the shayateen are locked up. So my brothers, the person is left to their own desire, own, their own nafs to struggle with. So this is a chance for us to see how we are doing and how close we are to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So fasting, the month of Ramadan is the month of fasting. And how beautiful is this fasting and how beautiful is this reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward us for fasting one day as Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says to us, in one day of fasting, a person is distance, there's a distance between him and her fire of 70 winters, 70 years. And this is fasting of one day. So imagine fasting the whole year. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's messenger told us in the hadith, the Qudsi that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, fasting, كُلُّ عَمَلْ بِنَ آدَمْ لَهُ أَلَّا حَسَنَةُ بِعَشْرِ أَمْثَالِهَا إِلَى سَبْعَمِئَةِ دِعْفِ The deeds of the son of Adam are for him, except uh, the hasana is, for, is multiplied 10 times up to 700 folds except fasting. Fasting is for me and a reward for it. So fasting is for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he rewards for it. And to the fasting person, two happiness, a happiness upon breaking his fast and a happiness upon meeting his Lord. And this is from the time, from the reward that he would see with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So my brothers, fasting is a special, special reward with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only. So let us not miss out on this opportunity. And what do we do in this month of fasting? We have to plan, my brothers and sisters. If you fail to plan, you plan to fail. So let us make sure that we plan our days very, very carefully in order for us to reap the benefits of fasting and to reap the benefits of the month of Ramadan. The first thing we have to do is to repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No matter how good we are or we think we good we are, we have shortcomings. So we have to repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And repentance will, inshallah, make us closer to, uh, bring us closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So no matter how, how, what, what our sins, 
we have to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive all sins. So let us repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The second thing I would like to remind myself and you, my brothers and sisters, is to hasten to do good deeds. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to do good deeds. As we say, taqwa is to make sure that you increase your good deeds and you stay away from anything that would cause the anger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So good deeds, sadaqah from qira'at al-Qur'an, recitation of Qur'an, and also uh, helping one another. So all types of good deeds, nasiha, whatever you name it, anything you can do, make sure you focus on that, inshallah. And the other thing that I would like to remind myself and you is the qiyam. As the Prophet sallallahu says, and uh, which is narrated by Al-Bukhari and Muslim, and Abi Hurairah radiallahu anhu, قال, من سام رمضان إيمان واحتسابا غفر له ما تقدم من ذنبه ما تقدم من ذنبه Whoever fasts Ramadan out of belief and knowing that the, the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they will be forgiven their sins. من قام رمضان إيمان واحتسابا غفر له ما تقدم من ذنبه Whoever makes qiyam in Ramadan out of belief and knowing the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they will be forgiven their sins. So let us try to forgive our sins. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has utaqa min al nar. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has people who are free from hellfire, and this is every night of Ramadan. So make sure, my brothers and sisters, when we pray qiyam, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us from the utaqa, from now, those who are free from hellfire. My brothers, I know that this year we live in a very difficult time. These times are unprecedented. And how can it be? Our masajid are closed. The haramain are closed. We cannot perform umrah. We cannot perform salah in the, in the masjid. So what is what is the, the, the outcome? Of course, staying away from the masajid is not an option. So we have no choice, but we have to make our homes as masajid. So let us make qiyam at our home with our families. And let us recite the Qur'an. If you like to complete the recitation of the Qur'an, you can do taraweeh. You, if you memorize, you read from what you have memorized. And if not, you can read, inshallah, from the, from the Mus'haf and complete that way the whole recitation in the month of Ramadan. And another thing I would like to remind myself and you, my brothers, because we have shortcoming in our fasting, helping people who are fasting break their fast will give us extra reward. Whoever helps someone break their fast, they will get their reward in addition to the person's reward without decreasing from the, the person who, who have helped. From, uh, from their reward. So even by providing dates and water for people, you can get an extra reward. So let us, inshallah, make sure not to lose that opportunity. And even if you can order for people food, of course that is, uh, that is extra, but you can, we can do it, inshallah. And this is something that we will, inshallah, uh, be able to remember. Uh, and of course, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to enable us to fast and to make qiyam in the month of Ramadan. Uh, my brothers and sisters, in Islam, the importance of fasting and the importance of breaking the fast is very important. And this is the time, of course, when we are fasting the whole day, and especially uh, when the days are long. We're so, so quick to go and reach out for the dates or the sambusa or whatever the food is. But we have to remember that for every fasting person, there is an accepted dua, especially at the moment of breaking the fast. So make sure before you reach out to that date, to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for anything you want, for the health, for the, for the uh, success in this dunya and the hereafter, for a wife or a good husband, for the, for the kid, good progeny, for the car, for whatever you want. But make sure to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for paradise because that's the biggest reward that we are waiting for. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to reward us. And this goes in line with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ or my servant ask you about me, let them know that I'm near, I will answer those who call unto me. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to increase our dua. So the fasting, the month of fasting is the month of dua. So make sure you make dua every day. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us reach the month of Ramadan and to enable us to, to, enable us to fast it and to make qiyam and to do good deeds. And we ask him azza wa jal to forgive our sins. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from all of us and make sure inshallah to ask Allah to alleviate this calamity that we live in and Allahumma arfa al-bala'a anna ya rabbul alameen Allahumma arfa al-bala'a anna Allahumma balighna ramadhan wa a'inna ala siyam wa qiyam ima al-hisaba Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik ala muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sallam wa barik ala muhammad 
وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين والسلام عليكم ورحمه الله وتقبل الله منا ومنكم صالح الامان